Hello everybody and welcome back to another Overclock review. Today we'll be taking a look at Sticky Flames, an Overclock that I have played way too much of back in the past. Back in the past, Face Melter wasn't as good and the only really good Overclock on CRISPR was Sticky Flames. Of course there's still like uh, Compact Feed Valves and Fuel Stream Diffuser, but that's like just basic flamethrower it's still good but you know you could do better and so you just played with sticky flames usually back then i played with this build which was a hybrid of the two while well, i played with this build which was a hybrid of the two direct damage and sticky flames it was quite good and i enjoyed it a lot for this overclock review we'll be switching it up to these two and you can either go with Heat Radiance or Targets Explode in that last tier. They don't, it really doesn't matter all too much. Targets Explode is only going to matter for Swarmers and Nido Sites that you're going to be looking at and directly hitting and then leaving alone. It's not going to affect the trail at all or anything like that. And then Heat Radiance is only going to affect you whenever you actually want to spend a little bit more ammo to trigger it. They're both not very good for Sticky Flames, but for right now, I think I'll go for Heat Radiance. Maybe in the next mission or something like that, we will do the other one. Also, uh, before I forget, there is going to be an extra, an extra mission at the end of this. Either it's going to be the second mission or it's going to be a third mission, but it was my first attempt at doing the CRISPR with Sticky Flames overclock thing. But I got ex extremely drunk while fucking playing with the mo while playing with this overclock, and uh, yeah, it was a mild disaster. You can you can skip to the end if you want to see that. And pairing with sticky flames is a lot of options. Of course, you can go with Coletta with exothermic reactor to trigger the temp shock on it which is actually quite good i'm not going i'm not going to go do that because i refuse to use coletta because it, please remove it from the game already it's not a good gun it will never be a good gun uh, it's otherwise it's going to be extremely busted or it's not good at all it, 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 there's no in between but for sticky flames you kind of do want to use sabata sense of that uh, hollow points and volatile bullets combo you can either take automatic fire which is what i'll be taking you can take trank rounds to make the bugs stay in your flames a little bit longer and you can take explosive reload as well of course there is a case for thin containment field but thin containment field's a freaking meme and i want to stop using it until something happens to it i highly doubt it anything will stop happen to it but anyway we'll be going with this build you can also take uh, impact actions or HE grenades. I do not recommend taking neurotoxin grenades because of how Sticky Flames functions with it, is that if there is Sticky Flames on the ground, whenever there, the gas cloud is there, it will automatically explode. So for right now, we'll be taking impact axes, and I'll meet you down on the planet. All right. So the first mission we'll be doing is surprisingly not a refinery. It is one of the better missions to do, to use Sticky Flames on, which is Salvage Operation. Salvage Op and, <clears throat> pardon? Salvage Operation and, uh, what is it? Escort are some of the better missions you can, uh, you can do for Sticky Flames because it's a holdout mission. Some of the worst that you can take Sticky Flames on is, unfortunately, Escort, or not Escort, excuse me, Elimination, because they nerfed it into the ground. The poor Sticky Flames against OG Dread. Not only did they remove the chances of, like, getting OG Dread, they also nerfed it against it. And by that, I mean, uh, Sticky Flames... Sticky Flames was extremely good for the OG Dread before the other Dreads came out, so free update 30 33 i believe it's update 33 that it came out of oh. yeah game you okay buddy i know we're playing like i know we're hosting for once in my life i didn't think you would have a actual freaking heart attack whenever we did this 
<laughs> Dick Doug. Oh god, I I love some of the mods that people just like put out. I love playing modded because it's so stupid. All right, there goes Bosco. So we no longer have Bosco, and this is actually one of the first times I have done like you know non-solo. I don't really know why I stopped doing like playing with other people, but I just kind of stopped playing with other people on my overclock reviews. I think I just, it was like a lot better to uh, show off the overclocks, I guess. Like it would be showcasing me and only me. But of course, like with, okay, I guess I'll just take damage. Oh, look at that. I'm not shooting at you, you freaking weirdo. Oh, look at that. He's volatile bullets, man. That is a small mag. Holy hell. I have not played with small mag, uh... Small mag, uh... Leave me alone. Flamethrower in... Actually, I don't think I've ever played with small mag flamethrower besides in escort and all... Or, like, rival presence and all that. I have not played it in, like, a normal mission in a very long time. It feels weird. Maybe not. Thank you. It's also, like, a lot... Like, there's a lot of chaos to... It's a goose egg. Goose egg. What is, what is happening back here? Anything? No? Nothing? Okay, wonderful. It's also a lot of chaos, and it's harder to for me to actually understand what the hell is actually happening and what I should cut out and all that because of, you know, there's multiple people, there's all sorts of chaos. You're going to lose track of the people and all that. I'm going to get grabbed by a leech. Oh, there's fossil. Oh, no, those are gun seats. I'm just an idiot. I promise. I'm a certified idiot. I don't, I don't like this place. I do not like this place. I have not been using heat radiance at all, so maybe, you know... Just because it's bad. Did we? Did I just shoot him to death? What happened? I'm just gonna pick him up. It doesn't fucking matter. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna die. Yeah, pull out that volatile bullets, brother. Mmm, get it. Get it good. Volatile bullets, sticky flames is like the biggest pog of any gunner's life is whenever he brings volatile bullets and he realizes the driller is going to play with him. It's like actually not going to be like, I'm going to make it so that you can light things on fire and kill them. Just here's a Praetorian. Eat it alive, dude. Possibly one of the best things. Ooh, we have a big boy wave. It's not a big boy wave. Oh, you know, maybe it is a big boy wave. There you go. There you go, scout. I'm going to die, actually. That's, what, that's what's going to happen. Isn't there a Batorian? Yeah. Get sticky flamed forehead. This is rare for once. Like, it's the middle of the fucking night. It's like, literally, it is 2.30 a.m. whenever I'm recording this video. And we have a full group. The last time I did this, whenever I was freaking drunk off my ass. Which, note, I only had like three beers because I'm a fucking lightweight. Like, legitimately, my body, I am... Uh, what is it? I'm 5'9", 130 pounds. It does not take much to get me drunk. It literally does not. The first time I, I ever got drunk was at a party. I had basically one full solo cup of vodka. Of course, it was, like, mixed in, but somebody just handed me a thing of a screwdriver that was half... It wasn't a screwdriver. A screwdriver is orange juice. But it was half pineapple juice and half uh vodka just straight like no it was orange juice and pineapple vodka that's what it was that's why i remember the pineapple like thing it was pineapple vodka whatever the hell that is it did not make a good screwdriver but i was uh young and i just fucking drank it i was was i 21 during that time i don't think i was 21 i might have been no, I absolutely was not 21. I was like 18 or 17. No, I was 18. Absolutely. 
Yeah, I, I've done I've done some things in my time, my man. It is. Have I done anything? I'm gonna die. I'm fine. Okay, we're fine. Actually, I'm gonna die. There is Macteras fighting me. I need to like nut up real quick. <laughs> I I can't like I've just been not paying attention this entire time. Could we not? Okay, listen. You you get a fucking C4 as a treat. Whatever you. Oh my god. I tried to save him. Oh yeah, get that temp shock, buddy. Buddy, give me that five HP. I need it. <laughs> All right. But yeah, I was at a party and I basically had a full like solo cup of uh, vodka and that like I got absolutely blasted on that. And now uh, recently I have the hard Mountain Dew. And let me just tell you, I, I like to try alcohol both warm and cold. I know that's a, like a fucking sin, but still I, I like to do it both warm and cold uh, just to see how it tastes. The warm black cherry, uh, like not warm as in like I heat it up, like room temperature. The worst part about alcohol is room temperature alcohol. I know some people like that, but you know what? You're fucking weirdos. Uh, the black cherry tastes like fucking cough syrup. Like why? Whenever it's warm, like why would you make something? I mean, it's fine. It tastes like... Uh, it tastes like, uh, what is it? Like sugar-free soda, whatever it's not. You can't really taste the alcohol. Is it good? I don't, I don't think it's good. It's, it's, it's kind of weird. Like, I've, I've definitely had better, uh, beers. The best, the best beer that I've had, by best beer I've, that I've had, is, like, the Secret Escapes, but that's because I'm a fucking Nancy pansy and I don't like actual beer. I do like, uh actual like hard liquors like bourbon and all that that is some good shit uh recently at the it's been it's like fourth of july it's like july 5th or july 6th or something and at the july 4th party uh somebody <laughs> i'm not gonna name names but somebody didn't know how to cook alcohol correctly and we had uh bourbon beans like beans that were cooked in bourbon and they didn't correctly, yeah, just fucking hit it. Yeah, I'm just gonna hit it, let's go. Uh, but somebody didn't, like, they didn't cook the bourbon out of it. They actually, like, put the bourbon in and closed, and closed the lid on the beans. So the beans still had the bourbon alcohol in it. And so they were good beans, I enjoyed them. Yeah, buddy? <laughs> we're not gonna talk about what fucking Scout just did over there. Oh, Lord. I'm like, you know, this is a good time. Just having, like, one drink being slightly, slightly good on myself. It's some, it's some time. I'm so sad what they did to this event, because this event used to be, like, if you missed one, it was, it was kind of a problem. Yeah, you, you get it. You get it at Scout. I don't want to hack. I, I don't feel like it. It used to be okay like if you miss two you would be in some serious shit but now it's just like you can miss like five and you'll be fine just you know don't 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 get fucked and you'll be fine at the current moment it's just like it's a it's a method of standing around and trying to not make dead air because <laughs> dead air is bad of course there's all sorts of dead air that i can do okay he has fucking fat boy i want to hack the last one I want to know what I'm doing in my life. They also slowed down the hacking, which fucks me up. Oh my god. Thank you. It's a goose egg! Alright, let's get out of here. These guys get a treat. I, I get a treat called death. Get, get out of here. Oh, he's dead. I guess explosive, uh... I thought I was gonna die there. I guess, uh, heat radiance isn't very good with the extra range provided by it. So yeah, you might want to just do, uh, targets explode, even though that won't do very much in a normal, in a normal mission. 
or yeah, in a, like any place other than dense bio zone and glacial strata, you probably want to go heat radiance because it doesn't do too much. In any case, you know, ever since they put put the level on the drills, which is I know that's like season one. It's like soup. Actually, was it season one? It might have been in the modding updates, which it was like update like 34.5 or something like that uh ever since they added on it it's so easy to make like level terrain also if you want to get rid of these real quick you just throw an axe at them okay you know what i'll eat my fucking words get, get out of here you know as much as axes are very overpowered for any build that's not cryo i don't think they do too much like yeah cryo only adds like 220 damage uh and actually there's a way of, i'm just gonna you know i'm just gonna do this i'm just gonna throw that there and uh you can enjoy all that i love fat boy <laughs> it's so fucking good oh yeah also i have a new computer coming in here soon it's gonna be great i'm gonna die actually it's gonna be great but i have a new computer coming here soon i'm gonna have to do there is a acid spitter out of here there i'm gonna have to uh like there's gonna be a few days i don't think it'll be coming on one of my days off whenever i make videos and things because that's i'm so sorry i didn't actually mean to do that and by i'm i actually did mean to, to attempt shock him because i i actively did it i think i think he has repellent on which is what is this scout doing this poor man knows that we both have like he has burning hell Oh my god. It's fucking... This engineer is lovely. I love him. I really should not be standing on this. Do you want to temp shock him? Go ahead, temp shock. Do it. I'll light him on fire every single time. Look at this temp shock. Pog. Well, that's a... That's a... That's a... That's a solid C4 right there. God. If you ever, like, play with stun C4, you know what... You know what it's all about. It's really good stun C4. It's a 10 meter stun, which is bigger than the radius of Fat Boy. The like actual uh, eight, like the eight meter uh, rad zone from Fat Boy. That's how. That's how uh, good it is. You know, salvage is a very comfy mission. It really is a very very comfy mission. I I do enjoy myself a salvage operation. Like nothing much happens in it, but definitely. Definitely things happen in it. No, you don't. You don't get to shoot that. Do it. Come on, temp shot him or shoot him with... Okay. That's not what I was meaning whenever do it, but, you know, I think I think the point was gotten across that something had to be done. I'm just going to throw a C4 over here. I don't care what's over there, but... Why did that C4 go over there? How the fuck did I throw it there? What? You okay? Also, that poor guard just absolutely got blasted. You can see how uh, Sticky Flames is like one of the best overclocks because I am full on not paying attention and just kind of letting the game happen. And things, things are doing, dude. Sticky Flames is a good overclock. Now that I'm like playing proper, oh my god! Now that I'm playing proper Sticky Flames, I could just like zone out and not do anything. I am... One of my things about Sticky Flames is I don't... He has slow... He has slow fat boy, too. What a fucking Chad, dude. What is he playing with? Is he playing with, like, armor breaking and not heat? What a fucking champion. I love this NG. He's a great NG. Too bad we have, uh... Too bad we already have a second mission where I'm drunk as shit, not really understanding what I'm doing. <laughs> Yeah, Sticky Flames, you just draw lines in the sand. That's what you do. There's there's nothing much. It's pretty brain dead. Past, like, here, here's the stickies. You do want to conserve some ammo, but, like, Born Ready helps a lot. There's... Ooh, that's a fat boy if I've ever seen one. No? You don't get us... These guys don't get fucking... Whatever, dude. I'm saddened by that, but, you know, it doesn't matter. 
Also, one of my favorite parts about Salvage Operation is just the end part where there's just, like, bugs coming in all the time. That's a fun time. All right, let's get out of here. Let's, uh, let's send it to the next mission or something like that. The second mission for today, I've actually decided that you guys are just going to get the highlights of Drunk Me and nothing else, basically. Uh, the second mission of today will be an egg mission, because I honestly... Just, there's Phasonite, look at it. Oh, that's a hole. That is a hole. Alright. Oh, I... Fucking Volatile Gunner. I love him. Alright. Let's, uh... Let's do an event. Sure, let's start off this place with an event. I'm in danger? Okay, we're fine. Gunner's got it. Ow, what the fuck did I just- Oh, I hit a freaking- Ugh, oh, magma maggots, dude. Like, I- Yeah? Magma maggots are, like, the cur most cursed part of it, because- like, Heat Radiance, Sticky Flames, any freaking Driller will just ignite that shit no matter what. I'm not being able to get in here. Hey, we already did it. Oh, what the fuck? Yeah, brother? And he's dealing with this wave over here? Here, I'm here, dude. Oh, and there's a Breeder. You know... Things have happened, and, you know, I regret a lot of it. We're just gonna sit here and just, you know... Oh my god. Please light on fire. Or don't, you know, you could light on fire some other point in time. I'm just gonna run. I think I just got shot by Scout. Not actually too sure. I'm not, sorry. You know what would be really nice right now? Uh, targets explode. Because there's a breeder in the next room. I guess, uh, who cares? I'm not restanding my statement that I think Heat Radiance is better. In most situations. Could you light on fire, please? Because that's what I was wanting for you. Embedded detonators, let's go. I've also, like, eaten through half of my ammo already, and we haven't even started the... It's because I wanted to light the... Uh, what is it on fire? The... Elite. The Elite. I can't... Ooh! I don't even think... I don't even think there's anything coming from this direction. You know, I'm just gonna place a C4 and uh, call it a good day. There you go. And I won't look that in that direction for a little bit. Oh, you can have a C4. There you go. Fuck it, hit another egg, let's go. There's like two eggs here, isn't there? There is, no, there's only one. Oh well. I just wanted to grab one. See, I, like, I haven't even used, oh no. Yeah, that's not good. I think there's bugs coming here, so I'm just gonna light that on fire. Actually, they're coming through the floor, you know, like normal things. And Gunner's dead. All right, well, wonderful. Just you know, normal things in the day of uh, in the day of dwarves. A bunch of people dying. I thought he was genuinely coming around, but Scout's just fine. Let's go. That's where the ground is. Okay, let's go. Ah! That's not where the ground is! Huh? Fucking walked out on flat land and then there was a hole. What a wonderful time. Oh, that's awful. Okay, well now I'm down here and I've been eating my ring, so uh... 
What? Is everybody just fucking down here now? I guess everybody's down here. <laughs> I thought I was gonna get leeched, but no. I'm gonna pull what's called a pro gamer move and start pulling eggs again. Even though that, uh, we have things to do. But I can't help it. I'm, I'm an egg puller. Here. We can do it now, that's fine. I'm just... I fell. I'm a forehead and fell. Alright, next egg. Let's go. Yeet it, yeet it down. Yeet it into the pits of hell because there's a gold chunk. I'm gonna get, like, absolutely blasted. Yeah, that's usually what happens. Oops. I don't have a C4! Oh. Oh, those are fucking slashers, dude. Please light on fire. Please light on fire. Don't slap me, dude. Slasher, no slapping. I'm in danger. I think I just missed literally every single one of those. <laughs> uh, checking phone. It doesn't matter. This should be the swarm, yeah? No, swarm's last one. Okay. Well, there you go. And it's happening over there. I... Am I going to go grab that? Are they coming to me? Buddy? Or, there, there's a bolt. Oh, wonderful. I don't think I need to be standing here. I think this... I think this oppressor is about to learn what it what it feels to be... To be... Have a driller attack you. Here... You know what? Here, have, have some... Have some axes. I'm not... I'm not using axes, so have some axes. Alright, let's get out of here. There's also a bolt. I'm gonna die? Okay, we're fine. Can we light this bulk on fire so I can start shooting it with this? Pardon me. Oh, fuck yeah, let's go. Oh yeah, volatile bulk. Oh god, he's gonna like absolutely delete that thing because he is volatile. Okay. Last egg. Last swarm. Let's get out of here, dude. Let me just toss the egg. Let me just toss it over there. Oh yeah, and there's a gold chunk somewhere over here. Where is that gold chunk? There it is. The bulk fucking got it. I'm gonna toss it down. I don't know where that warden is, but I want it to be lit on fire. For driller, for gunners, uh, love. I should really let. I'm just gonna like die. Come here, warden. I have. I have things for you. He's hovering? He's he's a god. He's also dead. Oh no, that's not. You know, there's a lot of shit happening and I'm not entirely too sure what's happening. But, what- I hate magma maggots. I saw the magma maggot and I already knew what was about to happen. Alright. Give me all that HP, because there is none here. Aw, oh, we're in dead. Ah, oh, I have something in my teeth real quick. I, I touched my teeth, and now I, I regret my life. I think what's about to happen is I'm going to die via NG. No, we're fine. All right. Uh, <laughs> things are fucking magma maggot, dude. I... the magma maggot. <laughs> Can we, like, stop with them? I understand that heat radiance is bad in, in fucking magma maggot zone, but I didn't realize it was this bad. Fucking Christ, dude. Just, get, get me fucking out of here. I want out. Can I tell you how many times I've ignited a magma maggot on myself? Because the answer is way too fucking many. <laughs> Oh fuck! Oh, we're we're doing it right here. I was just sitting here, like, with my thumb up my own ass. Here, you can have. I don't know, dude. I, the Praetorians don't really do, like. Yeah, you know, we have elites, and then we have disappointment in elites. Where is he going? Oh, wait, that's my driller hole. And somehow I missed him. I also missed that, and I'm about to die via this. 
This is such hell. It really is such hell. It's also, like, not my job to kill any of these. Like, the Acid Spitters, like, Cure Sight is just not a good good thing for Sticky Flames Driller. It really isn't. Like, we have Acid Spitters that don't do too much. I'm he's just... Oh, my God. Get away from me. Get these... Why is there so many? Is the next question. Okay, I guess I'll just be hit by these. Congratulate. There's another Magma Maggot right there. I, I, I missed it. I missed the Magma Maggot. How? Was there a Magma Maggot? Yes, there's two There's two holes. Oh, my. so angry in my life. <laughs> Don't. Stop it. Stop. Stop with your shit. What is... Why isn't this thing dead? There's... I... Listen, man. At some point, you just gotta realize that your brain has stopped functioning. You cannot have comprehend words anymore. I'm supposed to be playing Inscription today. Or tomorrow. Or at some point. Who knows? Alright, let's get the hell out of here. Alright, do you wanna fall again? No? Okay. Wow, this there's just nothing there. I went to follow the warden, and the warden was on, like, a little tiny precipice. What the fuck, warden? Why were you there? And that was Sticky Flames. All in all, still quite a good overclock and still is one of the best overclocks on Flamethrower. It's that and Face Melter are the two uh, best ones. And then you have like Compact Feed, feed Valves and uh, Fuel Stream Diffuser if you want to have a normal Flamethrower and if you want to deal with bots. In any case... You all have a wonderful night, and there's still going to be some clips from me being absolutely drunk playing this game while trying to play a Sticky Flames Driller. You'll see that. All right. So we are doing a refining mission, which is the norm for overclock reviews. Though something has changed. It's been like 30 minutes since go. I've had like a bunch to... Uh, yeah, there, there's words to be had. I started this and I have been drinking the night, so there's a prospect. <gasps> what a cutie. <laughs> Let's just fucking go. <laughs> I missed both times. Let's just fucking go. So Sticky Flames isn't very good for, uh, do I have access to it? Sticky Flames isn't very good for bots, which have been which have been prevalent in the recent times and you know it is actually pretty good for nemesis but we won't be getting nemesis during these i'm just going to heat radiance this man to death goodbye I'm going to pull out my drills and deal with these come back here they want to show off <laughs> 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 I'm sorry, but the Dig Dug, the Dig Dug has absolutely blasted me, and I'm just like, <laughs> Dig Dug. And that's what is what my brain is currently going through. All right, where is the where did the? That's something I didn't know. It had weak. It has weak points, even if you blow up its uh, weak points. You know, problems have been had when you hit Mac Terra, not Mac Terra's maggots. Wait, how did I run out of Sabata ammo already? <laughs> oh, my man. You don't know what you've been doing all your life, do you? You're gonna get grabbed by a leech. This is how you're gonna die. All of a sudden. Alright, I'm going to die via these grunts. And that's how this is, uh... Woo! 
Grunts! Don't kill me, Dad. This is how I die. You know, I'm going to use this, like, crisscrossing pattern here and bring it from this one pump jack over here. What's this? Ah! That's a ceiling. I want to go to bed. Listen, man. There is things that are are, are seen as a proverbial hell, and that is going back and forth on a fucking pipeline. Just missed the whole entire. You know, maybe that's what. Oh my god. And that's how you play with sticky flames, everybody. You just draw sand lines and, and draw glyphs. I'm dead. Enjoy. I'm pretty sure I hurt myself more than more than the tri jaws did. I'm pretty sure that's what happened. But we won't get away from me. <laughs> 